Hi traders, it's your final trade of the week, your final cherry bomb of the week, that is. Maybe you'll trade more than just the Jets today, but that's what our cherry bomb is. We're looking at Jets, the airline ETF. It has a liquidity rank of four drops out of four and an IV rank of 37 presently. Yesterday, our Lucid trade did not fill. It was an opportunity to test our OCO order, and we're going to use today's short put as another opportunity to try that. So if you're interested in learning about the OCO order, now, or just this trade in general, stay tuned. We're about to hop in. So here we go. Hey everybody, my name is Neil. This is Option Theory. Thank you so much for joining us. See my keyboard shortcuts here that I'm just killing it over here by hitting all the wrong things. Oop, jets. There it is. J-E-T-S. There it is. Jets. <laughs> all right. So you can see we've inside of uh, Thinkorswim Simulator Trading. So you get all the learning without any of the risk. So hopefully that, if that sounds interesting to you, if you like that idea of learning without the risk before you risk your real dollars, Maybe you'll like this video. All right. So we can see we're near the low for the 52 weeks. Uh, we have a double bottom right here, kind of a W for a winner, and we thought we were taking off. But maybe some recent, you know, volatility in the world is, is bringing that down. Could be some more Omicron stuff, fears, who knows. But with a short put, if the underlying stays where it is, goes up or even goes down a little, right, you can be profitable. So let's go ahead and make today's video a nice short video. So as the trade was sent to us, it from Tasty Trade. If you want to get the, these emails sent to you from Tasty Trade, not from me, I don't get anything from them. Head on down to the description. There's a link for you to go sign up for their email list. The Cherry Bomb is the one that we do here in this. All right. So here on uh, in their options chain, we're looking at the February weekly, February 25th weekly. Now I'm not a big fan of the weeklies because it drops the liquidity awfully and here we're looking at the 1950 put is what it was sent to us so if i click that here it's four cent wide so i could penny it up to 34 cents so we can make a maximum of 34 dollars on a trade like this if we go ahead and put that trade and go into risk profile take a look at our probability of profit at expiration i set the date to the expiration date kind of Stretch that, bring that in here. And I want to set my price slices to break even at expiration. We're looking at a 78 near near 79 probability profit at expiration, according to Bank or Swim. Now, I'm not a big fan of the weeklies, as you saw for liquidity purposes. But as one of the benefits of doing this in simulated trading, I'm going to put this trade on in my margin account. And then we're going to explore an alternative, of course, in our IRA. But we'll take a look at it first in Tastyworks. Now. This is not exactly how I wanted to do this trade. I said I wanted to do the OCO order. So I'm going to go ahead and close this trade. Go back to the trade tab, not the analyze tab. And then over here, we're going to be in the same, um, same expiration here, February 25th. And I want to go down to the wrong underlying. <laughs> yep, went to yesterday's. All right. So uh, apparently I don't have them on the same... Put that right there. Now they'll be the same. Okay. So 1950, I'm going to go ahead and right click this, choose sell custom OCO bracket. And now I want this to be 34 cents that I get in at my limit order. And I want to be able to get out if, um, if I can buy this back for negative 66 cents. How about, how about uh, 17 cents? 0 0.17 that would be uh, me getting out at 50 percent of the max profit and then if i double this and if i had to buy it back for 68 dollars that would be and you know uh not a ton of so we can go even more than that let's just take it uh take it to a dollar if i had to buy it back for a dollar Right, I'd lose 66 bucks. All right, okay. So that is how I would build this one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and send, and that puts that tasty trade. You're not seeing it, there's my confirm and send right here. Missing, uh, missing it, it's off screen. Why are you off screen? Well, I can't, I can't even grab it, that was great. All right, anyway, that's the OCO order, max profit 34, max loss of, uh, let's call it $2,000. So not a huge, um, you know, profit potential, larger risk, and uh, trade-off, we get good probabilities. Let's go ahead and hit send. 
Now, an alternative trade I have ready for you here, let's go ahead and switch over to this one, is instead of doing it in the weeklies, we switch to the monthlies. We have much better liquidity, but we have some weird breaks. <laughs> so if I put us here at the 1986, which is close to the 1950, we're looking at almost 2,000 open interest here, and we can get a mid price of 36. So a couple more dollars. Our probabilities go down a little bit. Instead of a P50 of 91, we have a P50 of 86%, a probability of profit at expiration of $78. That is the alternative I have for you. I wonder which one you're going to prefer. So let's switch back over and get a two for Friday and do this as fast as we can over in the IRA. So I'm in the IRA, got jets pulled up, leaving the weeklies, going to the monthlies with 28 days to expiration, 1986. Right click, sell custom, OCO bracket, 36. I think we said this was, instead of 17, we're going to do 18. 0 0.18. If I can sell it or buy it back for then, that'd be great. And we'll take this to a dollar two. Two cents more, right? Dollar oh two. Awesome. Hit confirm and send. And grab it this time. Yeah, I could grab it that time. There's the uh, full confirmation dialog box there that you can see. You weren't really missing anything before. Uh, 36 max profit, 1950 max loss. And there you have it. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And we have two trades on and we'll see which one performs better than the other. Which one do you like? Do you like any of these trades? What do you think of the OCO? Giving yourself a set it and forget it kind of setup. I'm interested to see how that works. Maybe we'll get stopped out of trades though. I don't know. All right. Until I see you guys next week, thank you so much for your views, your likes, your subscriptions, and I'll see you next week, everybody. May the market be with you.